Howdy folks, Ed here. Welcome back to Bono's Garage. Today we're going to talk about something that I just bought for the channel. This solid two microphone interview set, lavalier mics, which I'm wearing right now. Hello. So I bought this set from Amazon because uh, my last video sounded a little rough and it's because I'm here in the garage and there's a lot of echo in here, a lot of reverb. And um, I had to stand kind of far away from the camera to you know, do my presentation. So one thing that I noticed while I was cutting that video together was that the audio wasn't very good. Now I did what I could in post-processing and it turned out a little bit better, but still it wasn't great. So I went ahead and sprung for a set of lavalier microphones. Um, and it's a two pack, it's sold as an interview set. So, you know, you can have one and whoever you're interviewing can have one. But I got this because for one, the price was right. It was like 20 bucks. And for two, because with two microphones, I can actually have an extension um, that I can run all the way, basically almost all the way to the other side of the garage. So we're going to see how this works out. So far in the little bit of uh, work that I've done with them, they seem to do pretty well. But uh, we're going to test them. I'm going to do some garage tests in here with both microphones to see how they work. And I'm also going to take them on the road to see how they sound while we're in the bullnose. So without further ado, let's get to it. So we'll do this next part in a little bit of an unboxing style. It comes in this very simple little... Uh, plastic case just like this. Not much to it, um, but it's like a Ziploc baggie, so that's kind of nice. It comes with this very nice, um, so, sorry, a very nice solid uh, carrying bag. So we'll go ahead and take the contents out of that so you can see what you've got. Now keep in mind that I'm wearing one of the lavalier microphones right now as I speak, so one of them is not in the package. Um, Here's the other one. It's just like what I'm wearing. Pretty simple. Plug this end into your phone or your camera, and then of course this goes onto your collar or wherever. It's a little tight. There we go. It's like uh, like the paint or powder coating or something right there got stuck, but it's not too bad. Just happens once. So comes with um, extension cords, which I really like. I've actually used that already. And uh, this is a Y splitter and some extra pop filters so you can have both microphones plugged in at the same time. And we're going to try that out and see how well that works. So here's the other um, extension cord that I've already, I've already used. I'll get this out of the way so you can kind of see how long it is here. I'm sure the length is written somewhere, but I'm not that precise. It's about yay long. So that's what's in the package. Actually pretty impressed for 20 bucks. Now before we get too carried away, I wanted to let you hear what it sounds like when I'm standing here just without a microphone. You can hear the reverb and the echo in my garage. It's a pretty big space and not a lot of fabric. So it echoes quite a bit. Now I got the microphone on, but it's not plugged in. Next, I'm gonna plug it in and let you hear the difference. Now, normally, I wouldn't want you seeing all these wires and stuff that's hooked up. I would have the extra extension on here if I was gonna walk this far away from the camera. Um, I'm probably gonna say eight to 10 feet away from the camera at this point, and I've only got one extension plugged in. I've got a whole other extension that I could use if I needed to get further away, and I'll do that here in a minute. Uh, but for now, I've got the lavalier mic plugged in, and I'm not talking nearly as loud as I was last time. So you can hear the difference simply, you know, from me having the mic plugged in. So here I am all the way on the other side of the garage. We're probably about 15, maybe 18 feet away from the camera, and I've really got to project and yell to get my voice all the way over there so that you can even hear me. And I'm sure that the reverb and the echo is just terrible. 
Now I've got all this stuff hooked up and ready to plug in so I can give you a demonstration of that. Um, but right now, obviously, it's not plugged in. Now this is both extensions. I think each extension is six and a half feet. So that gets you 13 plus the probably, I don't know, two or three feet from the actual microphone itself, which will get you to about 50 or 60, which is about where I'm standing. So let me go and plug this in and we'll see how it makes a difference. Okay, so here I am standing in the exact same spot. I'm using a very conversational volume. Um, as a matter of fact, if you were standing right next to me here in the garage, you may even have a hard time hearing me because I'm, I'm not talking loud at all. I'm, I'm not even talking as loud as I normally do to someone standing right next to me, but I'm kind of a loud guy sometimes, so take that into account. Anyway, so this is me standing 16 feet away from my phone slash camera with the lavalier mic hooked up and both extensions. This is as far away as you can get comfortably. Now I could probably back up a little bit more and really, really stretch out this cord, but uh, I'm not gonna do that. There's not gonna be any situation that I can think of where I'm going to be this far away from the camera during the same time that I'm gonna wanna speak to the camera, because if I do get this far away, generally I'm gonna be doing something in the background maybe, or doing like a big part of a project or something, and I'll just voice over that part. Um, there's no reason for you to have to listen to me jibber jabber while I'm doing that stuff. So I think this is gonna work out fantastic. Okay, so this should be an interesting test. I've got the microphones hooked up in interview mode, which means I've got one hooked up there, one hooked up there, and then I've got a Y splitter right here in the middle. Now this all comes with a kit, so we'll see how this works. Now I'm not sure if you can see the splitter here on YouTube, but trust me, it's there. So I'm talking a little loud right now to make sure that you can hear me. But as I walk over here towards my toolbox, I should be able to drop my volume down and get real close to the microphone, and you should still be able to hear me. And then as I back away and walk over here, I'll increase my volume a little bit, and then walk back over toward the garage door where I should be able to lower my voice once again so you can just hear me with a lavalier mic and talk very nice and softly. That's very nice. That's a nice microphone. Good microphone. That's kind of strange, huh? Yeah. Okay, so there we go. Interview mode. Now one thing that I'm going to go ahead and try just for fun is I'm gonna walk back and forth between the two microphones, keeping my volume at about the same level and uh, kind of turning around and so I can give you an idea of uh, how it sounds as I'm walking across the room. Now you may wanna use something like this if you have a, a big room and you want to catch sound from all over the place, different locations, so you could hook up microphones basically just like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk toward my toolbox now, keeping the same volume and I'm gonna go ahead and turn towards the camera, towards the microphone, and turn around and walk now towards the garage door, keeping the same volume, and turn around facing the camera once again and walk back towards my toolbox. And this time I'm gonna turn around towards the back wall, away from the microphone, just to see how that sounds. And I'm gonna do the same thing once I get over here to the garage door, turning around towards my beautiful flag, and now I'll walk back towards the middle, and I kept the volume the same the entire time. So we'll see how that goes, but I think it's pretty impressive. Now, one of the things that I definitely wanted to test with this set was how it sounds in the wind and with a lot of background noise and this fan will accomplish both of those. And it will also do it without me needing to go outside where there's like bugs and dirt and stuff. So uh, let's see how it sounds.
So let's give this a try without the microphone. I am basically yelling at the camera right here, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I don't know if you can hear me or not over the sound of the truck running, but the truck is now running and I am yelling at the camera. Okay, I am now speaking much more comfortably and not actually yelling at the camera, which is still way over there. And hopefully you can hear me a whole lot better. So I'm going to start the truck and we'll see how I sound with the engine running. And here I am with the engine running. Again, not yelling at the camera. Uh, it's way over there. So everything should be picked up by this uh, with your little microphone right here, so we'll see how it goes. So how about we take a little test drive and see how this thing sounds both with and without the microphone while driving at highway speeds. It should be interesting. We're gonna see exactly how well this thing does. It's gonna <laughs> uh, got the uh, cord caught in the door. Uh, Okay, so here we are on the interstate. I'm um, going about probably about 65 miles an hour or so heading into town. I'm uh, pretty much yelling at the phone at this point, uh, just to make sure that you can hear me. This lavalier mic is not hooked up. I got it on, uh, but it's not plugged in. So right now what you're hearing is coming into the phone, uh, the camera, which is the phone. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm spinning about uh, 26, 2700 RPM right here, going about 65 miles an hour. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how this sounds. Uh, just for fun, let's do this. It's a nice day outside, you know? Sunny, beautiful, perfect temperature. Just cruising, it's cool. Okay, so here we are. Basically the same speed, obviously the same truck. Uh, now I'm using the lavalier mic to pick up my voice. Now, uh, I'm not yelling nearly as loud as I was before. I have no idea how much background noise is being picked up by the microphone. Uh, it's a noisy old truck. Of course, it's an 85. Uh, it's got an inline six in it, so it's got to spin up pretty high in order to uh, get to going 65, 70 miles an hour. But that's what we're doing right now, and I have no idea just how loud it's going to be. So I'm, I'm as interested uh, to hear the results of this as, as you might be. So let's go ahead and uh, roll the window down and give that the old test of real. technical difficulty there with a the microphone. Clearly it doesn't like being close to the window when the window is down. So we are now on our way home from our little adventure today and I have moved the microphone over to the right hand side of my neck a little bit further away from the window. Hopefully that will take care of this issue. Now what I was saying when I had the window down before was simply that you don't really want to go too much faster than 70 or 75 in a truck this age with this kind of suspension. It gets a little bit scary. And especially in this truck in particular because it's got 10-year-old tires. Uh, now, it really isn't very responsible of me to be driving on 10-year-old tires going this fast on the interstate. But, hey, you know, if I get into an accident, that's great television. All right, here we go. Let's see if it works this time. Well, there we go. What I would consider to be a semi-successful test of this lavalier microphone. 
Um, obviously, I'm not going to be driving it around with the windows down all the time. So that's not really that big of a deal. Mainly, I got it just so that I wouldn't have to yell at the phone all the time. And um, things like the echo in my garage or the background noise from driving the truck around wouldn't be quite as big of a problem. Now, I will likely go ahead and do some audio cleanup in post-processing when I'm cutting together the video. Um, but I'm not too concerned about that as far as this review goes, simply because I'm, I'm kind of doing a review of with the microphone versus without the microphone, and not so much of this microphone's quality when you know, not um, enhanced after the fact. You know, I mean, I'm gonna enhance the audio as much as I can uh, when I do these videos. So, you know, that's not what I'm testing. What I'm testing is whether or not it's better with the lavalier microphone than without it, and whether or not it's worth the hassle and the setup of plugging the microphone in, having a big cord running from the phone down through my shirt up to this lavalier right here. Um, that's really kind of what I'm testing. So, so far from what little I've seen of the uncut videos that I've taken, it uh, seems to be much better. So, you know, that's good. And we'll definitely uh, take a good look at this video once it's all done and see how much better the audio quality is with versus without. And um, if it's much better with, which I suspect it will be, then uh, I will continue using it for the rest of my videos. All right, folks. So here we go. Final impressions of the $20 Amazon Solid Two microphone interview set that uh, you saw me using throughout the video. I'm pretty impressed for 20 bucks. Uh, I'm definitely going to keep using it. It makes me sound much better. I don't have to yell at the camera. Um, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to have the wire running down my shirt and going across the floor, but I think I can deal with that for, uh, for what it is. Now, obviously it's got its limitations but it's a $20 set of lavalier microphones. I mean, what do you want? You know, it didn't work so well with the window down in the truck. Um, I noticed it cut out a little bit as I was going over the railroad tracks, and uh, it also cut out just a little bit in the heavy wind of the fan, but um, I'm not sure what causes that, if it's some kind of a built-in protection mechanism or if it's just, that the microphone gets overloaded, or heck, I guess it could be the program on my phone. I'm using uh, open camera to be able to use an external microphone on an Android. I mean, come on, Android, get with the program. Really, I can't use an external mic with your native camera? Anyway, so uh, yeah, there it is. Like I said, pretty impressed. Um, I will note that during the time when I was walking back and forth from microphone to microphone, uh, I was having some issues with the microphones being picked up by the camera. Um, there were several times I did that bit and the microphones didn't work at all. And I'd have to unplug them and then replug them in and then they would work and then they wouldn't work and then they would work. Um, when I only have one microphone plugged in, it always works. So I'm not sure what was going on there. I finally got a bit that was usable, uh, and it does work. Just if you're gonna use this for an interview or use that configuration, you may just wanna keep an eye on that. For me, I'm not really that worried about it. I don't plan on ever using that. The second microphone is just a backup as far as uh, how I'm gonna use it. So, you know, bottom line, four stars. I give it four stars. Definitely, definitely worth the money and it's definitely going to improve my YouTube videos. So there you go. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, gripes, stick them below. And don't forget to like and subscribe because that's pretty cool and really helps me out, especially because I'm, you know, just starting. So thanks guys, we'll see you next time.